All right. Y'all having a good time tonight? So uh, you can probably tell by looking at me, but uh, I love to eat fast food. I, uh, I frequent fast food places all the time. I actually ate at uh, Burger King for lunch today, and Burger King's uh, slogan is, have it your way. But uh, they didn't really live up to that, because if I really had it my way, I would have been served by somebody who took a shower sometime this week, and I wouldn't have gotten explosive diarrhea upon completing my meal. <laughs> I also go to Taco Bell a lot, too. Taco Bell's been taking a, a beating in the press lately. A, uh, a vegan group did an independent study on their ground beef, and it turns out the ground beef isn't all actual beef. There's some, like, filler component in it. And they released a study to, like, shock Taco Bell customers. All right, have you met the typical Taco Bell customer? <laughs> okay, they usually do their shopping between the hours of 1 a.m. and 3 a.m., only after getting blackout drunk at Wet Willies and making out with some random fat chick. And most Taco Bell customers usually pass out face first in their couch before completing their meal. <laughs> so Taco Bell customers have a lot more problems in their life to worry about than the authenticity of the beef in their tacos. <laughs> Sonic. Sonic is like the weirdest fast food place. Sonic is so strange. On top of having black people on rollerblades, which is about as rare as finding a unicorn that can fart lightning. <laughs> Sonic has a happy hour that doesn't serve any alcoholic beverages. That's like trying to enjoy the music of the Grateful Dead without being high as fuck. That's a word. Nothing happy about no booze. I think though, if I had to pick my favorite fast food place, it would have to be Wendy's. Although, I'm a little bit concerned with the direction that Wendy's is going in lately. I'm sure you've seen the, uh, they now have a sandwich called the Baconator. Okay? This isn't like a little gentle sandwich with Wendy saying, Hey, we're trying to sell you a burger with the bacon. This is Wendy saying, We are aggressively trying to sell you a sandwich with excessive bacon, sent from the future, programmed to kill your ass. <laughs> it's fucking terrifying. Okay? Just give me my vanilla frosty and let me go home. I, uh, I need to be more careful uh, installing software on my computer because I usually just like click OK through everything just to get through it. And uh, I recently installed a Pandora widget on my computer. And for those of you that don't know, Pandora is this awesome service that lets you listen to your favorite music all day long. But when I was installing this Pandora thing, it accidentally uh, married my Pandora account with my Facebook account. So I got a call from my brother the next day. He's like, hey Dave, what you doing, man? I'm like... Uh, just doing some writing, you know? It's like, really? Because according to your Facebook profile, you've been listening to the Little Mermaid soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Little Mermaid soundtrack was nominated for a Grammy. <laughs> they, uh, they released the new iPhone today, the, uh, the iPhone 4S. And I don't know if you saw it, but there was a line of dudes uh, at the Apple store on King Street, just wrapped around the street all the way around the block early this morning, just waiting to get this phone. And uh, when they actually took them home and started to use them, they were really disappointed, because the new iPhone doesn't have an app that will fool your friends into believing you've actually seen a real live vagina before. <laughs> uh, I've been dating uh, my girlfriend now for about two years, and I love her, but I have one big problem with her, and that is her family is obsessed with golf. And I cannot stand golf. It's awful. And every time we go with her family for the holidays, it's like, hey, come on. Let's go play golf right now. Let's go play a full round. It takes an entire afternoon to play a full round of golf. If I want to wear funny-looking orange pants and ruin my entire weekend, I'll just get another DUI. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Number seven, Dave Corley. Thanks a lot. <laughs>